Five questions back, and Braden Lund of AHSTW joining me today, the standout senior superstar. I add a few more superlatives if you like, as he's having a great, great year for the uh, one of the top rated boys basketball teams in class 2A. And this is the first five questions ever where I'm standing up. Braden, can you believe it? I'm standing up here today. Hey, first time for everything, I guess. Yes, I have. Um, I'm in my kid's room right now. You can see like some. And it's a mass hysteria here. They're out in the kitchen eating, so I didn't want to do it in there. It'd be loud. So I appreciate you uh, doing this, Braden. You ready to roll with five questions? Yeah, you bet. All right, here we go. Uh, let me see if I can find – oh, here we go. This is going to be really tough. Um, and that's not actually a question, uh, and not all of them are. But uh, first of all, rank these towns, okay? Are you ready? Avoca, okay. Hancock, Shelby, Tenet, and Walnut. Oh man, okay. Number one, I gotta go Voca. Okay. I live, you know, spend all the time. Number two, I'm gonna go Shelby because that's where my dad grew up, and I got some some family that lives over there. So that's my number two, definitely. Uh, number three, I say Walnut. Uh, because I like going over there and shooting sometimes in their uh the okay. old school. Number four, I'm gonna go Hancock because you know. The great Rain Groby and Cole Scheffler reside there, so got to go uh, there. Last one, we'll put Tenant. Oh, so. man. And was that hard <laughs> to put Tenant last? Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of, yeah. <laughs> you say, so, I mean, you said a lot of nice things about the first four, and then you didn't say anything about Tenant. What's going on? And Tenant, I don't, I mean, I don't know. I just haven't, you know, don't got a lot of Tenant. <laughs> you know anybody from there? I mean, anybody on the team from there or anything? Uh, not on the basketball team. Uh, there's some from the football team stuff, though. Okay. So. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, I actually am impressed. I expected you to play it like down the middle and say, "I can't rank. I can't rank them." But you, you did it, man. You, you, you just made the entire town of Tenant mad at you. Yeah. Hey, that's probably the best to make mad out of all of them. So. Yeah, that's true. There's not a lot. Not a lot of people there, right? Yeah. Not very many. All right. Maybe you'll bring them back here when it, with this next question. Here, here's number two. Uh. One thousand dollars for you, or one hundred thousand dollars for ten of your friends that you can just divvy up however you like. Oh, uh, I gotta take the hundred thousand, obviously. For your you know, friends, hopefully they get. Uh, yeah, hopefully they give some back a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, yeah, that's so. All right, so uh, I guess since we'll we'll stick with that. You're divvying this thing up. Are you doing it yep. evenly, or do you have like a uh, somebody that you would give more to? Oh man, I think I gotta go evenly. It'd be too yeah. hard to to pick, you know. Uh, can, but, can, yeah, can, I'd pick can you name? Can, yeah, can you name like your top uh, top five? Uh top five people uh, that you, you would, would give the money to. Yeah, I, I would. Just, I would say. Uh, ooh, let's see. This is a tough one. Nobody said this would be easy. Man, um, man. <laughs> I, I, do, I, do. I would go with I'll go with uh, Cole Scheffler, yeah. Jacob Kuhn. That's two. Let's see. You know, hey, real quick, if you didn't give it to Cole, he would just yeah. steal it from you. you yeah, know, oh yeah, he would steal. All time leader in steals, right? Oh yeah, he dished it back to me too, though. You know, uh, that's true. Too, so. That's uh, that's <laughs> that is doing it right, right there. All right, so you got three left, right? All right, I'm gonna go Kyle Sturberg, mm -hmm. uh, Ryan Wiedemeyer, and then man, the last one's tough. I'll go Aiden Martin for the last okay. one. I'll give her. I like it. Yeah, he's yeah. got a good last name. He's got a good last name. Oh yeah. All right. All right. Uh, number three, these aren't going to be as hard. I don't think the rest of the way is going to be very easy after those two tough ones. What is your favorite class that you've ever had or taken at AHSTW? Favorite class? I, I got to go with uh, Mrs. Selner's animal science. One of my ad classes. I think I took it sophomore year. That was my mm -hmm. favorite class I ever I've ever taken. So a lot of like, uh, a lot of like dissections and stuff, you know, I'm kind of like that stuff. So. That's yeah. probably my favorite. That's awesome. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. All right. Uh, by the way, like I ask, I kind of asked that question to somebody else here recently. They said, yeah. "Uh, just just so I can, I like this class, so just because we don't do anything in it." But you're 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 an educated dude, right? <laughs> Try to be, yeah. All right. Cool. All right. Number four. I don't know. Uh, I uh, 
give me your best impersonation. Um, I, I would say of Gigi, of Coach Harris, but I'll also let you allow you to, to give your best impersonation of like any coach on your uh, on the staff or any of the uh, any of your teammates, if you like. But I really want to see Her- Coach. Harris. Oh man, I don't even know if I could. Oh, I don't even know if I could do that, man. Oh man, I'd have to get pretty riled up, Harris. You know. <laughs> yeah, pretty what? Pretty riled up. He oh, likes yeah. to get into a little bit. So, uh, if I had a ref this time, I could probably do a little bit better impersonation. You know, get in his ear a little yeah. bit. But uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Do you have anybody you could do an impersonation of? Somebody, anybody on your team? Oh man, let me think. My teammates. Anybody have like a strange quirk about them? Anybody have a strange quirk about on your team? No, I mean, not really. I guess uh, you're being nice. Uh yeah, I can't, I can't single nobody out. You know, all right, that's all right. No, it's uh, you've uh, you've already uh, you've already ticked off tenant. You've already uh, have you know, a bunch of friends that are like, why am I not getting any money? We may as well just take it easy on this one, right? All right. Definitely. All right. Number five. Number five. If you had to spend the rest of your life in one spot, uh, place, room, whatever, where would it be? One place the rest of my life. Yeah. You couldn't, and, couldn't leave. Couldn't leave it. You know, I don't think I'd ever. It'd be hard for me to ever leave like Iowa, I guess, you know, get a little homesick. But if there was one place, I think I'd pick the somewhere in Hawaii. We went on okay. a vacation yeah. there this man that was a, that was crazy it's so beautiful it was awesome so yeah, i went right where i'd be i was gonna say stuck. i went to hawaii uh right about uh when i was your age and it is uh it is amazing isn't it isn't that weather just amazing it's incredible dude all year yeah. round it's like oh man did you ever it's go awesome. to like mcdonald's or anything there no it's like 15 dollars for a value meal there or whatever so yeah it'd be very expensive is, but You'd need that hundred thousand dollars to bring with you alone. I would take, yeah, I wouldn't yeah, be yeah. giving that out living in right. Hawaii. So, all right. Well, Braden, that's five questions, man. Was and and this might have been the t- toughest five questions I've ever had. I mean, just grilling you. <laughs> yeah, there are some tough ones, but it wasn't too bad. <laughs> all right. Well, I appreciate you taking the time, dude, and uh, congrats on all the success you guys are having. Wish you guys the best the rest of the way. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for having.